tweak so everything's greened up. Shed hunting's over with. You ain't gonna find any sheds now. But what I'm after is this grapevine right here. And it's almost in the road, in the way. So we're gonna harvest this grapevine and we're gonna take it in front of my tree stand and we're gonna hang it with the bottom at belly level for a licking branch. And we, you want it belly level so that the fawns can rub their pre-order orbital gland on it also. But we're gonna go around the bin here and see if there's any turkeys out here. I pulled my coyote traps way too early. This farmer was supposed to be in here and plant this and it was perfect. He came in here and dissed the field next to it, but it turned off into rainy season to where it's raining every day and it's supposed to rain every day this week. Well, I don't see any turkeys. That was cool last time I was out here watching them two hens fight. I mean, one came from one side of the field, one came to the other, and they just went to fighting. Okay, guys, here's the finished product. I want it up high. It's gonna, it comes down into this branch right here. Neat thing is, I just cut this, and I guess you could use this in a survival situation. Look at the, the water running out of this grapevine. So we got it down in this bush here, in this tree limb here, and you want it about the height of your belly button, right there, so that the fawns and everybody, every, everything that comes through here can rub their preorbital gland on, glands on it. And I might move it a little bit to control it in these bushes here, in this branch here. We want it up high. Just like that. Okay, that's perfect. Now every deer that passes through here is gonna have to come rub on that. They can't stand it. So, we got it up nice and high. So anyways, there you go. Food pot's starting to come in nicely. There's still a lot of weeds popping up in it. I continue to have a heck of a time problem with these possums going into groundhog holes. And it's pretty hard to get the groundhogs when the possums keep getting in my way. But I guess possums, they live underground too, I guess.